Hi guys, it's Lita Lens Apotheca Health and Beauty Hacks and today we're going to talk about good face stuff. This is my brand. It's finally here. Finally, goodfacestuff.com and this is our enzyme ultra hydrating resurfacing mask called Bright. Bright and shining and brilliant like you. Naturally preserved, big honking size. We got a little size too. Let's talk about it, darlings, shall we? Dudes, yes. Finally today, our warehouse is finally shipping. It's really dope. They're finally shipping. We got a few orders in. We're shipping our multiple sizes. We got our 3.38 ounces, our grande, if you will. It's pretty big. Look at that schmutz. Smells good. Then we have our little mini size. Our little mini size. So this one's 34. A tiny little cutesy pie. Now this one also came out a little redder, so that it might vary a little bit due to our natural ingredients. It's a very strict formula. Let's talk about the formula, shall we? Let's look into it. So it's gooey and jelly-like. The color comes from forbidden rice. Forbidden rice is purple rice. You might have seen this in, on your Instagram feed, all the culinary rave. It's like the new kale. It's got antioxidants in it. It's very powerful antioxidants that it makes it purple. This fermented delight. So the preservation system I have is the root radish ferment and the lactic acid also is keeping the bacteria at bay, right? But it's not going to last forever like a synthetic preservation systems. I've been using it like a, a cleanser, just adding, you know, using a little bit, rubbing it on. It kind of tingles because of the enzymes and the lactic acid, and then I wash it off. You could use a little bit like that, or you could layer it on and, you know, leave it on for a while. Gooey, that's kind of a lot that I just put on. We've been doing on our Instagram, all these people putting it on and kind of showing you how it works. And uh, you can do a thin layer or you could do a thick layer. Now it kind of depends on how your skin feels. Sometimes it collects like around the nose right here or in certain areas it might sting more. So you don't have to endure that. You can wash that off, right? You can kind of wipe it around there and just put it on certain areas. Like I've turned my melasma. It's, I've had this kind of like blotchy areas right here. This huge one is 3.38 full ounces. Like normally, you'd have a smaller one. So first we came up with a big one, which is 75, and then we're like, well, let's, maybe we should also do a small one. So we got tiny ones, especially since you guys haven't tried it before. We got one ounce, nice cute little 30 gram. It's preserved naturally with root radish extract ferment, right, root radish ferment, as well as aspen pine bark. So, and also the lactic acid that's in here which is really the more gentler acid. So it's, it is an enzyme. It has alpha hydroxy acid. It also has willow bark extract, which is where uh, salicylic acid, it's like a natural form, right? So it's not, as po it's not as potent as salicylic acid, but this is gonna be a powerhouse for a lot of different skin ailments, like hyperpigmentations in your skin, as well as pimply, you know, marks and, de and congestion, you know, as well as aging. Like, crow's feet you could i've been putting it up right up under my eye area you kind of have to see for your skin so if your skin if you feel like oh it's burning like maybe wash it off you don't have to endure a lot of pain i'm not feeling any uh anything right now on my hand but sometimes when i do it two days in a row like first day i might not feel it as much um you know my my, my skin might be a little bit more oily and then the next day i'll feel it tingling pretty quicker <laughs> pretty quicker english so you know the tingling is like it's working so if it's starting if it if you do it a few days in a row and it's really tingling you know you don't have to sit there and bear the burn you can wash it off because it worked and if it's not if it's not tingling very much it's okay and you, you'll still feel the effects it's gonna you'll notice the effects afterwards okay darlings what else about it so it's got a scler it's got uh, this really nice sclerodium gum which comes from fermented mushrooms oh buckwheat honey you guys buckwheat honey it's got buckwheat honey in it buckwheat is a very good anti-aging super nutrient rich what else it's got lemon peel bioferment which you know lemons and the, the that's also brightening and skin beautifying lots of ferments i'm into this ferments enzymes fruit enzymes it's got apple papaya fruit ferment darlings papaya fruit enzymes honey 
hyaluronic acid. It's got hyaluronic acid in it. It's all that gooey. Bilberry. That's what I was saying. Bilberry leaf extract. Orange lemon fruit extract it's got maple sugar extract and sugar cane actually this is, it's i got a lot of enzymes as well it's going to eat away at the layer of your skin so you want to rest sunscreens darling it has a little bit of lemon grass just a little bit it smells makes it smell i smell it smells kind of like almost candy sweet it's not like a huge amount of lemongrass in it it doesn't smell too lemongrassy is what i'm saying it's subtle i don't want a lot of Smell, it's not overwhelming with scent, but it has a little bit of essential oil in it. But for smell, darlings, I really like it. It's my cleanser now. Yeah, I still do oil cleansing when I'm you know, taking off my makeup and stuff, but I'm really digging this. You could, if you're already using lactic acid or a um, glycolic acid, like some people use like little wipes or something, maybe you wanna, maybe they'll work complementarily together, but maybe you wanna chill out and not use both. That might be a little too much for your skin. You kind of just listen to your skin and see what, you know, if, if it's too uncomfortable, then it's too much, you know? If it's burning and irritating too much, chill out and don't, don't use as much, don't use both. There's a lot of, you know, anti-irritants in here, the hyaluronic acid, the gel mask, a excellent for smoothing out the skin before makeup darlings <gasps> like if you're a makeup blogger guys I'm gonna let me know I'll give you some of this it's perfect for before makeup you put it on it smooths out the skin just for a little bit and then you take it off it's, it's really darn good oh we got two we got a limited edition box this fancy box is all recycled material leaf blowing darn it there was leaf blowing Got a nice fancy box and all it comes in. Look at that! It, it's a whole box opening experience. Just like Apple. Isn't it? Just like Apple. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't feel much tingle, but I have been putting it on the back of my hand quite a lot. So we're live now at goodfacestuff.com. We got our limited edition box, the big one, and then they're gone. We're not gonna do these again. The big, the big kind of substantial. See? Limited edition box. Can you see that? limited edition box the bottom recycled see at the bottom that's my little signature spot little little signature heart with the 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 bling bling that's how you know it's me it's been so busy doing this i'm finally so excited that it's here guys next our next product will be the um shimmery spritz mmm Subtle smell. The smell does have a little essential oils, just a little bit to make it smell yummy. It's got a little bit of neroli, a little bit of bergamot. It just smells fresh. Mmm. Anyway, it's got the sh a little shimmer. This isn't going to show up much in skin. It'll just be like a little glow. It'll go, it'll be fine on darker skin as well as lighter skin. You can't really, it doesn't look like anything. But it looks cool in the jar, don't it? Woo! Goodfacestuff.com. If you like us on Instagram, I'll be your best friend. We're working on our Instagram, we're working on our social media. It's a lot to do, guys. But I like this box. I'm proud of it. Bright. Bright, lucid. Do you see a theme here? Do you like the name? <laughs> huh? <gasps> Unboxing. <gasps> see? Good face stuff, good face stuff, good face stuff. That's it guys, I just wanted to point you to the store. I, I think there's there's a link, goodfacestuff.com. A nice jelly experience, darlings. Jam preserve. I'm sure it doesn't taste that good. Let's taste it. So if you like that video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and come on over and check out our goodfacestuff.com. I think you like it. I think you like it. I've, we've worked hard formulating this to perfection. Mm. You don't have to wait till it dries, but but I'm just so excited about this. I had to do a video explaining a little bit more the benefits, the ingredients, darlings. Goodfacestuff.com. I'm sure we have a card right here. Yeah. Hope you're having a fabulous fall and enjoying yourself immensely. Having a fabulous holiday season. Finally, guys, it's here! Hi, guys, it's Little Zabot. <laughs>
and I hope you're doing a good day. I hope you're having a fabulous fall. So, go go on over to goodfaceup.com. Maple uh, beer beer. What was whoa? I gotta I gotta check it out. I gotta read because I can't remember all the ends on. Good face stuff. <laughs> I'm still recording. Darn it. Shucky darn. Um, this is gonna. We'll talk about that later. Like I'm thinking fre fresh. A lot of it's the big the silky geisha. <laughs> my new face stuff. The my brand. What else? That's it.